Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Must Watch Tips. And today in this video, I am going to show you how to make this beautiful PowerPoint presentation step by step. So let's not get delayed anymore and start making this presentation. But before that, if you are looking for a more tips on PowerPoint presentation, how to make PowerPoint from beginning or you want to add animation to our PowerPoint or want to learn some super cool creative tips and tricks, then you must visit our channel. Here you can find various videos. And in addition to this, we also post various tips and tricks in form of YouTube shorts. So you can enjoy that also. And here I have opened a blank presentation. But first of all, let us quickly jump to the website where we can choose a color palette, a beautiful color palette. So currently I am on the website called colors, C-O-L-O-R-S dot C-O. Here you can explore different color palettes and choose whatever you want. So let us click on explore and see what is there. Here you can find awesome color palettes and you can choose whatever you want. So let us say we want this color palette. So I'll just take a snip of it by pressing window shift S and I can take a snip of it like this. And I can simply paste that in my PowerPoint presentation by pressing control V. Here you go. So now we will choose colors for our presentation from this color palette. And for the time being, let us place this image aside. So that we can work on this presentation here. Now the very first step is to add a rectangular shape. So let us go to insert shape and let us choose this rectangle. And you can make this rectangle like this. And Let us remove outline from this shape. Now again we will go to insert shape and we will choose this rounded rectangle and we will make a rounded rectangle over here like this. Now we will see do same process for this rectangle also. We will go to shape format, you click on shape outline and select no outline. And here you can see that due to this rounded rectangle there is some curve which is still there in this shape. So I don't want this curve to be visible. So I'll move this uh, rounded rectangle towards this bigger rectangle like this. And if I will zoom out now, it is now looking quite better. And now it's time to merge these two objects, this rounded rectangle and the bigger rectangle as one shape. So I'll select both. I'll select first this rounded rectangle. Then by pressing shift, I'll again select this rectangle. So in this way, I can select both the rectangles. Then I will go to shape format. And here you can see that there is option of merging shapes. So if I click on this, there are certain options. And now I need to union these two objects. So I'll click on union. And now you can see that these two objects has been merged. And for the time being, let me just change shape fill of this object different from blue. So let us go to insert shape and I'll again choose this rectangle and I will make the same size rectangle like I made previously like this no outline for this shape and once again I will go to shape and I will select rounded rectangle and I'll make one rounded rectangle over here like I did previously and also no outline but instead of placing this rounded rectangle over here. Now I will place this rounded rectangle just below this. And now again we will do that same step of merging these two objects by going to shape format and in the merge shape let us click union. And here you can see that one more shape has been created. And in the same way you can create two more objects like this in the same slide. And after we complete making all these four objects like this, it's time to change color. So first of all, let us change color of the background. So I'll right click on the slide area, go to format background. And now let us choose solid field. And in the color, here you have an option of eyedropper tool. So I will click on this eyedropper tool. And what this tool does is that whenever I click now, it will select that color as a background. 
so let me choose this color as a background here you go now as this text box is behind we will choose colors from darker shade to lighter shade from as we move from below to above so for this object let me choose a color which is lighter from the color which we have just picked this one and in the similar way let us choose different color for this object and the remaining one So here we have selected different colors for these different objects. And now it is time to play with shadows. So let us select all of these objects which we have created. Go to shape format and in the shape effect, let us go to shadow and apply a shadow. Now to make it more realistic, we'll go to format object and in this effect option under this shadow button, let us increase some blur effect like this so here you can see that it is now making more sense now let us arrange this all objects horizontally so i'll select all go to arrange and in align let me choose middle and i don't want you to skip this video from here because the next steps will be very important for this presentation so now let us duplicate this slide four number of times by pressing Ctrl D. And in each slide, we will keep only one object and we will delete the remaining ones. Like for example, here I have removed the objects which were above the last object. In similar way, I have kept the third object over here and I have removed the another. And yes, I forgot to tell you one thing that we need to create one more slide. So we will create one more by pressing Ctrl D and in the first slide, let us delete that object. So this is the plain slide which we have. And now here in the first slide, let us add some text. So we'll go to insert text box and let us write something like And for creative, let us choose a fancy font like freestyle script and let us increase its font size to 50 or maybe 100 like this. Let us bold it and let us choose text fill as yellow or whatever you want. And in the text effect, let us choose a shadow like this perfect and for the powerpoint let us choose a different font oswald let us make it center aligned and increase its fonts to 100 and text fill as white so our title slide is ready now let us add a text in this so i have copied it from the clipboard and let me paste over here so let us say you have this text and make sure that you take light colors light font colors in this text boxes as our background is quite dark but however you can choose whatever you like after this let us add a number to our slide so this is the first slide which we have so let's go to insert text box and let us write one and let us change the font style like you always do Oswald and we'll increase font until it satisfies us and we'll paste over here and in the font color of this we'll choose the color which is there exactly behind this so let me choose this one and this looks pretty cool now the next things to add is the logo 
so we'll go to insert and go to icons uh, make sure you are connected to internet while doing this step so let us say you want to add this icon so i'll click on insert and here you have that icon i'll place it over here and in this also let us color this according to our theme so let us go to format graphic first of all let us convert this to shape uh, which is op uh, so while you click on this there is a graphic format tab uh, which opens and here you have an option to convert this to shape so we'll click on this and after that we'll click on format shape and in fill let us choose a gradient fill where we will uh, have only two colors gradient and in the first one let us say we have we want this gradient and in the second one let us say we want to have this one or you can change slightly to here you go and to make it more creative let us add a text box over here so we'll go to insert a text box and let us write e over here you can choose any letter which is initially of your this first topic or whichever is related to the content which you have written uh, let me increase its size to 200 or maybe 220 and this time let us choose different font style for this one let's say this font we want we'll place this over here but first of all let us change its color and let us bring this to front so by doing these simple steps we are ready with our first slide ready and the last step which we need to do is we need to select this all and press ctrl g to group them all and in similar pattern we need to add information in all these four slides so let me just copy and paste that so now as we have completed adding content to all of these four slides now we need to realign this all objects which we have created so for the time being we don't touch slide number one but we'll make changes in the below slides so what i will do is i will crop copy uh, these objects which i have created in slide number three four and five to slide number two or you can say i'll cut paste all of all of this i'll cut it by pressing ctrl x and by going slide number two i'll press ctrl v and i'll do same for slide number four here you go now as we have gathered all the slide over here we will press ctrl x again and we'll press all of the slides to here in the slide number one now we will move this all four objects to the left of this slide like this and now we will arrange the object number three two and one like this by pressing right arrow And now as we can't see object number two we will go to selection tab and we will select the relevant group let us say this one and move it to right side like this we'll bring it to the top like this so now we have arranged all this so let us see what we do when we go to slideshow it is looking like this so now if you want you can move these objects more towards the left hand side but this looks okay to me so i'll keep it as it is and the next step is to work on the slide number two so here we will copy paste all the contents which are there in slide number one so let me go to slide number one select all and press ctrl c and slide number two press ctrl v we need to move this uh, two text boxes to the right hand side and make this smaller and rearrange this over here and while we do this in slide number two we will display the objects which are there in the first text box so we will move this by pressing right arrow towards right like this so this is all which we have to do in slide number two now in slide number three again we will go to slide number two copy this all which we have copied from the first slide 
we press Ctrl C and in slide number 3 we will press Ctrl V. Now it's time for object number 2 to move to the right hand side. So we will press right arrow by selecting that object and we move until we reach its distance from the right hand side like this. In the similar way we will copy this all objects from slide number 3 press ctrl c go to slide number 4 and press ctrl v again and this time we will move object number 3 to right hand side and in similar way i'll copy this and go to slide number 5 press ctrl v and this time i'll move object number 4 like this so this is how we completed all the steps and the last step which we must do and do not forget to do these steps is select all these slides go to transition and apply morph transition and in morph transition you can select duration as one seconds and apply to all so this is all what we need to do to make this presentation so let us see now what we have made so here I have tried to make this video as simple as possible for you and try to make this video very clear and neat and I hope you must have enjoyed the step by step tutorial. So don't forget to subscribe our channel and share it with your friends. Bye.